Weight loss and diabetes. If you suffer from diabetics and want to live a normal life, click the link in the description for your free guide. Weight is a sensitive issue for many people and getting to an ideal, healthy weight is easier said than done. But when you have diabetes, there are huge benefits to losing weight if you're carrying extra weight. You'll have more energy, feel better in yourself, and you'll reduce your risk of serious complications like heart disease and stroke. And if you have type 2 diabetes, losing weight could even mean going into diabetes remission but millions of people with diabetes find keeping to a healthy weight a huge struggle. You're not alone in this, there's support out there to help, a good first step is to ask your healthcare team for help and advice. On this page. What are the benefits of losing extra weight? What's a healthy weight to aim for? Diabetes diet plans to help you lose weight, including your weight loss planner your feelings about food being active to help with weight loss weight loss surgery type 1 diabetes type 2 diabetes. What's a healthy weight to aim for? Before you get started, you need to know what a healthy weight is and what numbers you're aiming for. This is about working out your body mass index BMI and your waist size. Know your weight. Research shows that the more weight you lose, the greater the health benefits, but even losing just 5% of extra weight will improve your health. BMI uses your height and weight to work out if you're a healthy weight. It doesn't look at how much fat you have around the middle, so that's why you need to measure your waist too. You can work your BMI out for yourself using this NHS tool, it will show you your target range. For many people living with obesity, aiming for a healthy BMI may not be realistic. Diabetes Diet Plans to Lose Weight There is no such thing as a special diet exclusively for people with diabetes. There are a lot of different ways to lose weight, but there's no one-size-fits-all diet. It starts with finding a way to eat fewer calories than you need. A calorie, or kcal, is a unit of energy, which is in the food and drink we consume. Your body uses energy for everything we do, from breathing and sleeping to exercising. When you eat, you're replacing the energy you've used, which helps you to maintain a healthy weight. As a general guide, government recommendations are that men need around 2,500 kilocalories a day to maintain a healthy weight, and women need around 2,000 kilocalories a day. But most people need different amounts of calories based on how their bodies work, how active they are and any weight management goals. We've put together some 7-day meal plans to help you lose weight. They're all clinically approved, nutritionally balanced, calorie and carb counted, and can help if you want to lose weight. Mediterranean diet plan lower calorie diet plans, like 1200 or 1500 calories a day evidence shows that the best approach is the one that you're likely to stick to. So the key is to find a plan that you enjoy and fits in with the rest of your life. Everyone's different and what works for some may not for others. Low calorie and very low calorie diets. A low-calorie diet is made up of between 800 to 1,200 calories a day, our direct study used a low-calorie diet of around 850 calories a day. But direct is not a diet. It's testing a weight management program, delivered in GP practices. Then there's a very low-calorie diet, which means having less than 800 calories a day. We haven't created low or very low-calorie meal plans as these could be challenging using foods. Most people who follow these diets use special meal replacement products which are nutritionally complete. If you chose to try a low-calorie diet like the one in direct, speak to your GP or nurse first, especially if you use medications like insulin. Other diets. A low GI diet can help you manage your blood sugar levels, but the evidence for people with diabetes losing weight is not very strong. There are other popular diets, like intermittent fasting, such as the 5-2 diet and the paleo diet. Unfortunately there isn't enough strong evidence to say these are effective for weight loss in people with diabetes either. Commercial weight loss programs. Some people feel that they need more support and choose to join a commercial weight loss program. These usually involve calorie controlled eating plans or meal replacements, like milkshakes or bars. It's really important to ask lots of questions about these programs, so you've got all the evidence and information you need to make an informed decision. Here are some ideas. Has a healthcare professional been involved? Does the program offer advice on your diabetes, especially if you're at risk of hypos? Are you getting all the nutrition you need from this program? Does the program give support and education? Whether you choose to try one of our meal plans, or another type of diet, it's really important that you talk it through with your diabetes team first. 
Starting a new diet will affect your medication or blood sugar levels, so you need their knowledge and support. If you suffer from diabetics and want to live a normal life, click the link in the description for your free guide.